Alright guys, so today I am going to be sharing with you another haul of stuff. Um, some of these items will be stuff that you saw in the last footage video from the church sale. Um, some items I already showed from the church sale in previous hauls, so I apologize for that. I'm not always 100% um, in order with my things that I show. Um, I do want to make mention I did purchase the dollhouse and I'm going to be having a separate video kind of going over that dollhouse. So you will see that probably in the next video if it's anything that remotely interests you. I just had so much fun with it. Um, so let's just start in with this haul. Um, one of the things I got, and I didn't take this guy right away, but I did go back and pick him up. This is just a vintage troll doll. He is marked Damn 1988, made in Denmark. So he just kind of looks like a little elf with his hat. I thought he was cute. He was a dollar. Um, I did list him as a buy it now for $19.99. I got a small plastic baggie of a couple of vintage little Easter items. So these were in there and you'll see another item here in this haul. These are two little plastic kind of blow mold candy containers. This one still has its original price tag on. So their heads like do pop off so you could stick like candy or whatever in there. So I thought these were cute. They were in a baggie for 75 cents and I listed these together as a lot for a buy it now of $19.99. Eric took this little clear glass turtle. It is actually like a little trinket dish. Its shell pops off and you can store stuff in there. This is by Anchor Hawking. He paid 50 cents for it and I listed it as a buy it now for $12.99. Eric also took these Velveeta um, cheese containers. There were two of them there. I think these were a dollar a piece. I listed these as a buy it now for $9.99 a piece. We've had luck with the Kraft cheese singles. So when Eric saw these, he's like, ooh, cheese containers. So um, unfortunately these aren't worth as much as the Kraft cheese singles boxes. But um, it's so funny. I just bought a block of this the other day at the store because I'm making soup um, on Sunday and I needed some Velveeta and I was contemplating keeping one because now I have a block of this Velveeta cheese and this would be really good to like store it in. So we'll see. I might take one of those listings down. One of the first things I grabbed was this really cute cat nightlight. Um, they are ceramic, little kitty cats, and this is actually what they call a nightlight and perfume burner. It still has its like original tag on here. So what you would do is there's a little bit of a dip here on the back of this cat where you could put a little drop of perfume, probably even like essential oil or something like that. And then as the lamp warms up, it releases fragrance. I thought that was so cute and it lights up so pretty. Um, I paid 50 cents for this and I listed it as a buy it now for $28.99. I got these Clark's shoes. They are like a black suede with an ankle strap. They are the Artisan collection. They're in really nice condition. There is a little bit of rubbing on um, parts of the, the toe here. But otherwise, I think they look really nice. These are a size 7.5. I'm pretty sure I paid $2 for the shoes and I listed these as a buy it now for $22.99. The leopard pair I showed in another haul, those were my size and I did keep those. I'm honestly trying not to pick up shoes as much. I feel like lately they have been kind of a, a large return rate on shoes here lately so and I do have like a lot of shoes so I I'm trying not to pick up as many shoes as I used to I also picked up you saw in the video this Woolrich throw blanket um we did pay I think they charged us two dollars for that 
I did have it listed on auction and I had someone message me asking if they could just buy it outright for $50 and I was like okay because the last one that sold actually sold I think a little less than that so I was just thrilled I was like all right so I sent the offer and they purchased right away for $50 so that was a great sale I also got this Longa Burger tissue holder. I had just sold one of these, so when I saw it, I was like, yep, gotta get that. So I did get this, and it does have its um, liner there on the inside. Uh, this here, I don't remember what they charged. I wanna say $5, and I list this as a buy it now for $39.99. That's what I sold my last one for. On the video, you saw Eric picked up a bunch of um, Jim Shore figures. We have not listed those yet. There is a lady at the auction that we go to, one of the auctions we go to, and she collects Jim Shore. So Eric um, is gonna ask her if she's interested in any of them, and then we just might sell those directly to her if she's interested. But if not, you will eventually see those in a haul. So I'm gonna start um, throwing in some things that weren't necessarily from the church sale. I'm trying to clear off my table as always still oh my gosh still so full um so oh gosh i have to record so many haul videos it's insane um so the first thing that i have that wasn't from the church sale um if you guys remember i picked up this ceramic vase at one point at a yard sale i think i paid a quarter for it i just really liked the the look of it it has that like art deco kind of look to it unfortunately there's some like I don't know what is on the inside of this. I tried cleaning it off and I can't get it off, so I'm not sure exactly what's wrong. The outside looks to be in pretty good condition, but it's just that interior there. I don't know. Anyway, I paid a quarter for it and I listed it as a buy it now for $12.99. Also at that same yard sale, I purchased this um, Raja Tiger and he is by Schmid. So I thought he was really cute. Again, I'm pretty sure I only paid a quarter for him. And I also listed him as a buy it now for $12.99. I can't remember <laughs> exactly where I got this really pretty jar. Um, it's like compote dish. It's green glass. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the coloring on it. Um, like I said, I can't remember where I got it. I don't know if it was from an auction or a yard sale. Um, but anyway, I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. This next item actually already sold, but it did come from the yard sale where I got that tiger and that yellow vase. This was a little mini refrigerator and you saw it in one of my yard sale videos. Um, inside of it was just a whole bunch of really cute like office type of implements like um tape and a pen and stuff like that but it was all kind of themed like a refrigerator and food and things of that nature it was so stinking cute um i did pay a dollar for that and it sold for $29.99 necklace at a yard sale this is actually an avon necklace it is a red lucite apple um, these actually can sell pretty well. I think I paid a dollar for this and I listed it as a buy it now for $19.99. Got this mini Boyd's ornament plush of a rabbit. Still has its tag attached. I got this at a yard sale for 50 cents and I listed him as a buy it now for $32.99. I'm gonna post up a picture of these because they're very fragile and I didn't have room on my table to put them. But these were um, for a lot of these, of these gorgeous bohemian glass goblets. They're like a rainbow of colors, absolutely gorgeous. I picked these up at an auction. I paid $47.50 for them and I listed them as a buy it now for $199.99. This pair of earrings, these are by Sadie Green and I do have a couple pieces um, of hers that I have listed and then I have some still that I need to list. These are um, pierced earrings and they're dangly. They have like an angel kind of look to them. Really cute. 
They are new still on their packaging. It looks like the original price tag on here said $48. I paid $5 for these and I listed them as a buy it now for $25.99. I got this pair of Oshkosh Kids um, corduroy bib overalls. They have the cutest little cowboy western themed bears on them. Um, these are a size 24 months, so I got these at a yard sale. I paid $1 for them, and I have these listed as a buy it now for $29.99. I got this adorable Limoges, um, trinket box. It looks like a little milk can, and it's got a kitty cat along the side of it. It is marked on the bottom Limoges and on the inside it still had its little milk bottle so super duper cute this I found in a box lot tray of stuff at the auction and I couldn't believe it was laying in there I was so surprised um, that it wasn't out in like the main part of the auction uh, so I bid on the tray I'm pretty sure I paid $14 for the tray that this was on so that was amazing and I listed this as a buy it now for $199.99 I've had these little guys for a while they're just these little um, frogs they kind of look like Neil the Frog I don't think that they are um, there's no like markings to them or anything they're just like little tiny frogs. I'm pretty sure I got these out of like a free pile along the curb. So I don't think I paid anything for these. I put these up as a buy it now for $9.99. I gotta paint my nails. I'm sorry, my nails look like crap right now. Um, I listed this Starbucks cup. This is actually like a dark green. I know it's kind of hard to tell. Um, on camera, I got this at a yard sale, and I'm pretty sure it's brand brand new. I don't think it was ever used. Got this at a yard sale for $3, and I listed it as a buy it now for $25.99. This next item actually already sold as well. This was for a Clorox scrubber. Um, I paid $3 for this, and it sold for a buy it now of $38.99. It was brand new, open box. These two items Eric got at a yard sale. They're by Taylor Made. They're some sort of golf implement of some sort. Uh, it's, a, it's a driver kit. I don't know much about golf. Um, I went golfing I think one time and it was just to like hit balls and I could barely do that. So I would just not do well even trying to attempt to play a game. But Eric for a while was really into golfing. He hasn't gone in a while but um, he does know his golfing stuff. These are by Taylor Made Driver um, Kits. He paid... Doo -doo -doo -doo. He pays 75 cents a piece for them. One is listed as a buy it now for $11.99. That's this one. And the other one's listed, this one here, this yellow one is listed as a buy it now for $12.99. This whole set of vintage, oh my gosh, one fell in the trash can. <laughs> I have this whole set of vintage kids um, pizza slices. So there's enough here to make a whole pizza plus two extra slices. These are older. Um, they're like kind of like a plasticky um, vinyl rubber material. Anyway, there's like 10 slices all together for these. At one point, I won a tray of just older kids um, play food and stuff like that. And I've been selling a lot of it. Um, so this pizza here I have listed as a buy it now for $25.99. This next item actually already sold as well. This was for a vintage skull blow mold. It was just the head. Um, at one point this would have had like a stick attached to it, but it didn't anymore. It was just for the head. Um, that sold for $29.99 and that came from 
a large box of Halloween stuff that Eric and I won at an auction like a while back. We've sold so much stuff from that box. That's this I won at the, um, at the auction, this adorable, oh my gosh, like I cannot even explain to you how amazing this piece is. Do you see Santa's eyes like bobbing up and down like he's like blinking? Oh my gosh, it is so stinking cute. The ceramic Santa Claus, he is marked Japan on the bottom, so he's definitely older. I actually won two of these. They were together as the pair, but I'm listing them separately. So I paid $20 for both of these, so $10 a piece. I have another one. And I listed him as a buy it now for $79.99. Um, the other one I may keep, I haven't decided yet. So we'll see if that one sells. I'll probably put up the other one, but until then, I'm gonna keep the other. This Winnie the Pooh trinket box um, was actually also on the same tray the Limoges trinket box was on. So this one here is just a Disney trinket box. And on the inside, it just looks like this. There's nothing really on the inside. Um, I listed this for a buy it now of $12.99. My washing machine is really worrying <laughs> right now. This vintage Mac Tools beanie, I got this at a yard sale. I paid 50 cents for it. And I have this listed as a buy it now for $19.99. Next item also sold. This was for a pair of rollerblades. Eric won these at the auction for a dollar. Nobody wanted them. They were pretty dirty. Eric cleaned them all up and they sold for a buy it now of $34.99. These next two items Eric also won at the auction. I'm just going to post up pictures. They're a little bit larger and they're already um, put away on the shelf. This first one, these are reproductions. They aren't like the old ones. Um, but this one here is the Power Lube. These are oil bottles, reproduction oil bottles. Um, he paid $12.50 for that and listed it as a buy it now for $38.99. And then he also won this other one. This one was for an Atlantic oil bottle. He paid $17.50 for that one and listed it as a buy it now for $34.99. We won this at the auction. This here is actually by Department 56 and this would have went with the Christmas Story Village and pieces from the Department 56 Christmas Story Village can sell really, really well. So this one here is just the police car. We paid $30 for this and we have it listed as a buy it now for $74.99. I won this at the auction. I just thought this was so unique. I've never seen anything like it. It's a Christmas tree made up of oyster shells. Um, I don't really have any kind of real information about it. I'm not sure if it's old or not or what have you but I thought it was neat and I thought it would be really cool for like a beach house or something like that. I paid three dollars for this at the auction and I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. When I looked up oyster trees they are priced pretty you know high so I was kind of surprised by that but I just thought it was neat. I also thought this was really neat, so I decided to bid on it. Uh, this is a wooden Santa Claus box. So he is like a puzzle. So it's like a puzzle to open him, but there is a compartment on the inside. Um, it does say it was made in Vietnam there on the back. But I just thought it was so cute, and I honestly, like, I don't even know how to open this right now. <laughs> I'd have to sit down and try and, like, figure it out. I'm pretty sure Eric had it open because he took, um, oh, okay, I get it. Wait, I think. Does this come up? Yeah, okay. So his hand here, this piece comes out and then you can slide it. Oh, how cool. Oh, I'm so glad I opened this to show you guys. And then it's like a secret kind of compartment there. Oh, that's so neat. I love this. Oh my gosh. So yeah, then you just slide it back on and then put his put his hand back in there yep just like that oh that's so cool anyway I 
won this. Oh my gosh, I don't have the price down. I know it wasn't much. Anyway, I have it listed as a buy it now for $29.99. This little guy is a brass penguin. He came from the auction as well. It's just marked solid brass there on the bottom. Uh, we paid $8 for him and I have him listed as a buy it now for $29.99. This little figure was on the same tray with the Limoges and the Pooh trinket. And it's just this really cute carved Santa. He's on the smaller side, but he's really detailed. I love his facial features. And he is signed on the back. I think it says 1992 um, Gail Laura. So I listed him as a buy it now for $19.99. Eric won these woolly sheep at the auction. These are actually by Department 56 as well. So there's this black sheep. He's got a little bell on his neck. And then this um, little white sheep as well. Um, he paid, I don't have down what he paid. I don't remember. So we have these listed as a buy it now for $12.99 for the pair of them. Won this at the auction. This is really heavy. This is a Warren Kimball cat plaque. There is like um, a notch in the back there where you can hang it. It is super heavy though. Um, I also think this would be cute in like a garden as like a stepping stone. It is super heavy. I just like I can't imagine hanging this on the wall because it's that heavy. Uh, but it is marked Warren Kimball. Um, I paid $4 for this at the auction, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $29.99. Got this gorgeous lady planter. She's wearing this pretty pink ball gown. She reminds me of Cinderella, except her dress is pink, but really cute. So she's a planter. You can stick things there in her. She has no markings, so I don't know who she was originally made by. Um, I did pay $10 for her, and I have her listed as a buy it now for $39.99. Um, I have this RS Prussia hat pin holder. I won this at an auction for $4, and this just sold today for $24.99, so I have to get that. Um, well, I had to get Eric to pack that up and ship it on out. Oh, with those rabbit candy containers, these pieces were also in the bag. And these are little vintage plastic, um, like, cake toppers. Like, you just lay them on top of a cake. And these appear to be brand new. This one's still sealed. The other ones aren't. So there was this yellow one a white one, and then two pink ones. Listed them all together as the lot for a buy it now of $12.99. This item actually also came from the church sale. It was this owl planter, and it's got owl faces on all three sides. So I thought that was super cute. Again, no markings on it. I paid, I do believe, a dollar fifty for this is what I have down. Um, and I listed this as a buy it now for $19.99. Um, I also have these two brass hand clips. Won these at an auction for $14. Um, this bigger one I have up as a buy it now for $25.99. So it's like a clip you can... This, these remind these things remind me of the coat rack hands from <laughs> Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> kind of creepy. Uh, marked made in India. And then there was this smaller guy. Um, this one here I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. So it looks like that. And that is pretty well everything um, for this this haul. <laughs> uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments and definitely stay tuned if you're interested in seeing that dollhouse that I got because that will be the next video. So I'll see you guys next time.